In the second of this two-part series of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll talk about primary and primary capable APs, as well as some other common questions that relate to the CBW150AX and CBW151AXM. What is the difference between primary and primary capable APs? The primary AP is the bridge to the rest of the external network, which is usually the internet using an internet service provider, ISP. The primary AP directly links to the primary router, which in turn routes traffic to the WAN ISP interface. The primary AP is the orchestrator of all the nodes providing wireless services within the mesh network. It manages information from the nodes on the network, gathering client connection quality and neighbor information in order to make the best decision on the best route for optimized wireless services out to the mobile client. You can set a preferred primary in your network if there's a specific AP you would want to set as the primary. Otherwise, one is assigned automatically. If the preferred primary fails for some reason, another wired primary capable AP will automatically take over. The new primary AP will run unless it fails. In that case, the preferred primary, if configured, or another wired AP that is primary capable will take over the primary AP role. In order for an AP to be a primary or primary capable AP, there must be a wired connection. Mesh extenders are not primary capable. What if I want to add an additional AP after my network is up and running? Believe it or not, all you have to do is plug it in. As long as all the APs are on the same VLAN or network segment, you're set. The firmware on the new AP will be updated automatically, and then it'll join the network. How do I add an additional mesh extender to an existing Cisco mesh network? It's easy peasy if you already have a mesh extender on your network. All you need to do is add the new MAC address to the allow list using the QR code with the mobile app. Overview, add mesh extender or web UI, wireless settings, WLAN users, local MAC addresses, and plug the mesh extender in within the range of a CBW AP. The firmware on the new mesh extender will be updated automatically by pulling it from another mesh extender, and then it'll join the network. How do I add a mesh extender to an existing mesh network if there is not a mesh extender already in the network? Since the mesh extender you're adding doesn't have another mesh extender, you need to update the firmware. Updating via cisco.com should work, but if not, you can download the update file to a PC and apply the ap1g5capwap file using the HTTP update method. You can also use a TFTP or SFTP server. How do I remove a mesh extender? To remove a mesh extender from your current WLAN, under Expert View, Navigate to Wireless Settings, and then Access Points. Click on the Edit icon of the AP you want to edit. Click the Mesh tab and simply change the bridge group name for deployment in another LAN. Be sure to click Apply. That's a wrap for our two-part FAQ series. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.